Well, hello world. Thoughts of a social worker here. I am in my office, which as you can see is my vehicle. That's what happens when you are a community-based provider. I spend a lot of time in my vehicle. So here I am, and I've been procrastinating and putting this off and making excuses. And I've been wanting to video blog for a really long time, and I just haven't done it because being a perfectionist, and I know there's some out there that everything has to be perfect. The timing, the lighting, do I cut this out? Do I change this? Do I do this different? And I finally just said, you know what? There's never gonna be a right time, so just do it. So here I am. So this is off the top of my head. No script, just um, here I am. So video blogging, I've been wanting to do the video blogging because um, I like to write. So I'll still write on my blog, but I also wanna be able to have this I guess face-to-face -face connection. I guess it's face-to-face -face for you, not for me, but either way. Um, so that's kind of why I'm doing the video blogging. So this kind of fills a creative niche for me. Um, this is kind of Finding Balance Part 2. My first blog entry was about <clears throat> working towards finding balance. And for me, I discovered, man, I was way off balance. <clears throat> Excuse me. And... It was really beginning to impact how I physically felt, like fatigue and um, just being not depressed, but just kind of being blue, kind of being blah, um, a lot of tummy upset, appetite is weird, and this was really all because my personal balance is off. That pie chart I talked about in my first blog entry where... Um, all of the little pie pieces are supposed to be equal or really close to equal. Mine weren't. And I was really beginning to feel that. Uh, I was re <clears throat> really be beginning to <coughs> excuse me, feel the crunch of that imbalance. And so I'll be doing a lot of that exploring of finding your balance, your, your personal balance in some of these blog entries. So... If you're watching this, I really appreciate you watching. I hope that I can um, educate, empower, and help you evolve into being the best version of you because I'm certainly working on doing that with myself. So until next time, have a wonderful Cinco de Mayo. Bye.